everyone. This presentation is uh, to introduce the concept of the thesis rings, which has been introduced in the group Food Process Engineering. So the responsible people for the thesis rings are myself, Claire Berton, and my colleague Anja Janssen. So you can always contact us in case you have questions. So the content of these presentations are, first of all, to explain to you a bit what thesis rings are. Uh, as students, of course, we understand that it's very important for you to know which amount of time you are going to have to invest, and we will also explain uh, about this. Then we will give you some details about the, the practical organization of the, of the thesis rings, and of course we will also show you um, how to use the thesis ring blackboard, which contains a lot of very useful documents. And we will also finish as more as a concluding remark uh, about what it actually means for your supervisors and why they are actually very interested also in having this concept running at FPE. So thesis rings, what is actually a thesis ring? It's a peer review system for thesis students, so both for master students and bachelor students. And the idea of uh, the ring is that the other students in your ring are going to review some written documents that you will have prepared. So uh, it means that then you get feedback on these documents by other thesis students. So there are different kinds of documents that you will have to write during your thesis. First of all, you will have a work assignment, and then you will have a thesis report, of course, to produce in the end. So both these documents are going to be reviewed by the thesis ring. So why do we think that it's actually a good idea to have thesis rings in place in our group? Well, first of all, um, as students, it's very important, of course, to know how to write, but you, we, will, we, we know actually that you actually get a lot also of learning by giving feedback to others and by receiving feedback from peer students. As a result, we have noticed that, um, and also in other groups, by the way, that the level of the, the reports, even in a draft stage, has been increased. And it's also possible, it's also a good opportunity for you to discuss with other students and discuss about, discuss about common issues that you may have in terms of writing, for example. So how does it work in practice? Well, in practice, you will be uh, participating in a ring that will contain typically seven to uh, ten thesis students. As I said before, you will have your work assignments and your final thesis report that will be reviewed by the ring. So the feedback on your documents you will get during a weekly meeting that is for one hour. And then during this hour, maximum two documents are actually commented. So it means that every week, at maximum, you will have to review two documents from other students of your ring. So the time that you actually need to invest for this, so for uh, reviewing the documents and participating, of course, in the weekly meeting, is typically around two to three hours per week. It's actually compulsory to attend the thesis rings, and the effort that you will actually put into reviewing the documents for, for, from other students and participating and giving feedback during the meetings will be also uh, re uh, graded in uh, your final grade for your master thesis. As I mentioned before, uh, we actually have a system through Blackboard to practically organize the thesis ring. And now I'm going to show you a bit how it actually works on Blackboard. So this is actually the home page of the FPE thesis ring blackboard. On the left, you can see that there are different parts in this blackboard. Um, and one part is actually called useful documents and links. And here you can actually find a lot of information that is going to be very useful for you for the writing part of your thesis. So the first item that you can find here is the course guide for FPE thesis. Then the second item is called thesis string instructions. And here you, will, you actually have three documents. First one is how to prepare my assignments or my report for submission. The second one is 
how to review submitted documents. So when one of your fellow students has submitted something and you have to review it, of course, you need also some, some help and some guidance to do this, and this is where you will actually find this. And the last item is, all, is about how to give feedback, because of course it's also in, it's, um, important to us that you find the thesis ring environment safe and that you feel comfortable in exchanging ideas and, exchange and receiving feedback. So it's also very important to actually know how to give feedback to others in, in a safe and a respectful way. And here you will find some guidelines on how to do this. The next item is really about uh, guidelines for scientific writing. So you actually have different documents that, are, that you can find in this part. The first one, very important, I really strongly advise you to go through it, is general guidelines for writing a work assignment or a thesis report at FPE. So you can just click here and, and upload this document, download this document. And then there are more specific documents, for example, on how to make good figures and tables in a scientific paper, and also useful websites uh, to, that you can also refer to, and that will give you a lot of good advice for writing the different parts of the thesis reports typically. So this is what you can find in this first part, useful documents and links. Then of course, um, there is actually another item on the left that you can find under the name My Ring. And if you click on it, you will actually be able to sign up uh, for submitting thesis ring documents to your thesis ring. And uh, you will also be able to upload the documents that you want the other students to review. And then, of course, the other students of your ring do have access to this folder. They can, they can then download your documents and review it. So, for example, imagine you are in ring one. Then you can click on documents and sign up ring one. And here you have two items. So this is the same for all rings. You have the first item that is the sign-up list. If I click on it, then there is an online uh, sign-up list that opens, and you can actually, uh, for the for a certain date, so for a certain date or for or of a certain meeting, you can actually uh, sign up. So put your name which kind of documents you, uh, you are going to submit. So if it's a work assignment, if it's an intro, material methods, and so on. If you want, you can indicate the stage of the document, like if it's really a draft version or an almost finalized version. And you can also indicate the number of words, which will give an idea to the other students on how big the document is. So as you can see, per one date, there are a space for two students to sign up and then to submit material. If I go back to Blackboard, the second item that you can find in the uh, folder of your ring is actually an item that is called Upload Folder Files, in that case for ring 1. So here, if you actually click this link, you actually have access to a space in which you can freely create new folders and upload your documents. So what we do is generally we just call the folder by the date of the meeting in which the document will be reviewed. So it's actually very simple. Just click on it, create a, a folder if necessary, and then just upload your document to be reviewed. And then the other students, of course, of course have access. They can download it and go through it to review it. So this is for the Blackboard organization. Of course, if you have questions, you can always come to me or to Anne. So, of course, um, the, thesis, the success of the thesis ring will depend also on how it's going to get organized and coordinated also with your supervisor. It's important to remind that your supervisor will always have the final words uh, in, in, in something that is about your written material. So, there are two cases, basically. First one is for uh, documents that are, for example, the work assignments or the material and methods parts of your thesis. In that case, it's pretty simple because the structure of such documents is pretty straightforward, let's say. 
So in that case, please prepare your document. When it's ready, submit it to the RIN. And then uh, the week after, you will get feedback from the RIN during the weekly meeting. After that, you can actually improve your material based on the feedback that you will have received. And then your supervisor can take a final look. For the other uh, sections of your uh, final thesis, so the introduction parts and the resource and discussion parts, it's actually important that you actually first decide together with your supervisor what the overall contents, so like the detailed table of contents and the overall structure of the documents will look like. So in that case, we strongly recommend that you first talk to your supervisor, you decide on the detailed contents that will be in these sections, after that, based on this discussion with your supervisor, you can prepare your documents and submit it to the ring. Then, of course, the, the, steps, the following steps are the same. You will get feedback from the ring during the weekly meeting. Based on this feedback, you can improve your documents. And finally, you can actually give it to your supervisor, who will have the final review work through it. Speaking about supervisors, um, why are they also interested actually in having these strings implemented at FPE? Well, for them it's actually, of course, no additional work. Normally the idea is that when they correct your reports or your work assignments, it's already of higher quality because it has been through the thesis strings and you will have received a lot of feedback, so you have a lot of potential to improve it based on the feedback of your fellow students. Something that is also important to mention is that, uh, of course, your final thesis report is composed mostly of the introduction, the material methods, and the resource and discussion. And it's strongly encouraged that your introduction is actually written in an early stage of your thesis. So not at the very end, but roughly halfway in your thesis, you should already put some effort in writing your introduction. And we believe it's actually really beneficial because when you do this, of course, you will also go through some literature about your topic. And then you can also get a lot of new ideas and it's still time for you to continue doing experiments, maybe based on uh, this input that you will get uh, from writing your introduction. So please don't be late and write your introduction in an early stage so that you can also get early feedback. Of, co of course, your supervisors are also informed that it actually takes you some time to participate in the thesis strings and that you need roughly two to three hours per week to invest in this. So uh, they are also aware of this and this actually won't be an issue at all. And finally, what is important to, to mention is that the final responsibility is still with your supervisor. So even though you, well, you get maybe certain comments or certain feedback from the thesis rings, it's always your supervisor that will really have, let's say, the final word regarding your written material. Okay, so I hope this video uh, clarified things about what thesis rings are and how they work. And uh, we would like also, of course, to thank some people who helped us with setting up this concept, including uh, Yad Perfort from the Nematology Group, and uh, Marta Resnert from Education. See you later in the thesis ring then. <laughs>